This one might be in the mouth. today in Sodona slash Kenai whichever you want to call it <laughs> this is the Kenai visitor center and uh, you can park out here and you can get park out here and you can go right down to the Kenai River so I'm out here with a couple friends and uh, we're gonna go do some fishing at the Kenai River for some reds this would be my first time fishing at the Kenai River and also at this spot here so this is all new to me and I hope you guys enjoy this adventure I heard the fishing was really good here. Uh, we walked down here to the river to check it out and it's really packed, lots of people. Let's go and catch some fish. I got my new fly rod here. We've been using the fly rod. Uh, we also did switch out the hooks, so we're not using Russian river hooks. We're using just regular 3 aught 4 aught hooks. Um, same setup like for Ship Creek, just with some uh, typical fur, typical yarn at the end of the hook. But as far as the weight and everything, it should be really similar. So let me show you guys a little bit of the Kenai River. So the nice thing about this is that the parking lot's right there. And literally it's like no more than 150 yard walk. And you get right down to the river and you can start fishing right away. So it's not like Russian River where you have to walk kind of far to get to some good spot. This is a really, really easy hike. So for the most, for uh, anybody that might have issues, you can definitely get onto this place here. And this is what it looks like. And as you can see right here, people are already fishing. We saw three people hook a fish today. Um, a few of them were snags though. So I'm here with my friend Re, Re and Dom. They've been fishing for a couple days here already. And they've been having some really good luck out here. Let's go and find them. They say they're gonna be down here first. It's really hard because there's not a lot of shoreline here. They're way down there, you guys see them? That's Re and Dom over there. It's a bit more different than the Russian River. The water's more blue. And there's also people fishing on the other side over there. So to get to the other side, you have to get to the campgrounds. Lots of campgrounds and stuff. So lots of people fishing over here. There's some fish right here. Nice fish. We have a beautiful gentleman here with the fish on. This gentleman here has his fish on the line. And uh, looks like he got his daughter here assisting with the net catch. Oh, I think he lost it. Did he lose it? What? Don, first cast? Oh, you got a little baby one. That, that doesn't count. Good job. Pull it out, I wanna see it. What is it? It's a trout. All right, this is Ree here. Ree's fishing. Ree, this is your... Oh, it's a nice little fish. <coughs> so Ree and Don, we met Don at Russian River. It's a dolly? Oh, wow. This Ree's getting the hang of fishing. Are you, uh, huh, you like fishing now, huh? Uh oh, right over here. Nice. So we, this is where we're gonna be. We'll work our way down. No worries. Beautiful day at Russian River, man. Beautiful day. A little bit overcast, but uh, yeah, this is a big river. Kenai River is pretty big.
We got some people catching some fish down here on the left side of us. Fishy, fishy. Small one. It's a, it's, it's a baby one. Fish on that Russian river. Now I fish on Kenai. It's on the bellies. <laughs> Billy floppers. <coughs> it's a nice red. Is he still fishy? Alright, I don't want snags. I want real mouth hook. It's pretty long. So that was a snag right there. Nice and quiet day out here at Kenai River. I caught two fish, but they're all snags, so we released them. They were on the billy. Bottom dorsal fin billy. Pretty nice day. We've been out here for 30 minutes right now, so we're gonna stay at this spot for a second and then maybe we'll go ahead and switch a little bit around. A lot of people out here, a lot of fishermen out here. First one I got was a nice size, and then the second one I got was like a baby. So you do need a net to land them, guys. It's very, very hard. There's no shore. There's no shore right here for landing, so you gotta have a net. Fish on. Fish on, guys. Ah, oh, fish off. They're right here. I recorded because she caught one and then all of a sudden I caught one. So I kind of put my guards down for a second. All right, guys, we got some action coming up here. I think the fish, the fish are moving up. Like school just came up, I think. We should be catching some here shortly. So hopefully we get some footage for you guys. Stand by. Loving this new fly rod though, for sure. Oh, there we go, fish on. There we go. It's a fish. Just don't know where it's at. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna play. Oh, it's off. Fish off. Oh. Super flexible, man. This fly rod is dope. They're out there. This drag is nice too, man. It has a very strong drag. There we go, fish on. Oh. Fish off. Lost two fish, no worries. We're out here for the fun. Just lots of fish. I didn't set the hook on that one. I was. <laughs> I was gonna turn my camera and then either turn the camera or set the hook up. Fish on, baby. Woo! There we go. Fish off. Woo! That's a good fight. Ah, uh, another lost fish, guys. Lost another fish. Fish on. Ray! It's not, it's not fighting. That's in the mouth, it's in the mouth. In the mouth, in the mouth, woo woo! There we go, baby. I'm like, no wonder it's not fighting. It's coming up a little bit here. I'm like, no wonder it's not fighting, it's right in the mouth. Perfect, huh? Yeah, I was, like, I was expecting a nice fight. Hold on, hold on. I'll bring it back in. Right there. I'll bring it back in. Okay. I don't want you to go too deep in there. Yeah, there's a hole. I just, I stepped right at the edge. Ah. Uh. Okay, uh, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. You want to leave it on the log here? Yeah, who got a bunker? 
Here, I'll, 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 I'll just grab it. I'll just grab it. Cool. Did you get one? There's one. Did you get one yeah. already? Oh, this guy's a hog. That's a good, mine's little. I saw, I saw that, I was like, man, let it go. Yeah, but I, who knows who we're gonna catch. You're gonna stay there, right? No, we're, uh, are you guys gonna take off? Yeah, he's gonna go, uh, uh, Billy's gonna go to his house, get a gun, and okay. then meet us over at front. Oh, cause the beers and stuff? Oh, you switched back to there. Yeah, cause I, mine got hooked, hooked up there, so oh. I'm like, uh, let me just switch to Russian rivers and see how it is. Oh, yeah. this is a nice so, one. If you want to go, um, I think I'm going to stay here for a while. Okay. Yeah, you guys keep me updated and see how it is. Let me know how it goes over there. But I think it's going to pick up what, uh, what time is it right now. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to pick up. I got a feeling it's going to pick up. Hey. I want to tie to like maybe over here. All right, guys. First fish at Russian. Oh, first fish at Kenai. It's a nice big one too. So I've been fishing in the same area since we got here. I just been moving within maybe 15 feet, 15 feet from side to side. And uh, Re and Don they moved down a little bit to the left side of me, about maybe about 50 feet down towards me. So Don caught one. He's a very small one. And then uh, I think Re is still on her. Re is still at zero for her catch, her limit. But uh, it's been pretty steady here. It's been picking up. I feel like it's been picking up every 30 minutes. We get like a nice run. We get like a nice run every 30 minutes, but it's a very, very small run. Like it's not a lot of fish. So fun time at Keaton Eye. Uh, we're going to be here today and we're also going to be here till tomorrow. So hopefully we can catch our limit. Hopefully we get our limit today. And then uh, once we get our limit, we'll wait till midnight and come back and fish again. So we'll see how it is. I don't have the time on me right now. My phone's put away, so uh, not sure what the time is right now, but I'm assuming it's around maybe 2 or 3 p.m. right now. Just lost a fish, guys. Just lost a fish. Had a hook on it. We're flossing out here, guys. We're flossing, flossing for these fish. Uh, we're not using bait. We're using just Russian River flies, or we're just using hooks with yarns. So it's a flossing method out here. They're not going to eat the bait, they're, or they're not going to eat the fly, whatever. It's more of just trying to get it into its mouth. Sounds impossible, but it does happen, though. The gentleman to my right-hand side got two fish so far. So he's on his third one, unless he has proxy. Fun times, man. Kenai River, baby. First time at Kenai River. Love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to step back a little bit and see if they're close up or not. Sometimes you gotta see if they're nearby or further out. So sometimes you just kind of have to mess around a little bit. I'm loving this fly rod though, man. I love it, I love it. I love fishing fly rod now. I'm gonna fish on fly rods from now on, man. Ain't switching back no more. I think Ree's giving up, man. She hasn't caught nothing so far today. She hasn't, she hasn't hooked anything at all today. So she might getting, uh, hopefully she doesn't lose hope. I know Ree lose hope pretty fast. I don't favorite spots. I like to just stay where I'm at. We got to fish on guys. We got to fish on. Ah, uh, I'm gonna just, get, I'm gonna just manhandle it. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Ah, uh, I think I'll be fine. Yeah. See, it got like on the chin, on the on the gills, so wasn't fully in the mouth. So I figured it's gonna snap at some point. I'm in it for the fight. That's a nice fish, man. He was fighting everywhere. It's a big size too, about the size of my first one. So Ree and Don, they just left and they went to a second place. Uh, they have another buddy that has a prior property, so they want to go check that out. So they left this area and just me now. And uh, I'm gonna show them how much I can catch. The spot that they were at, they, the spot that they were at, that was their favorite spot, and they weren't catching anything. And then two guys just went over there after they left, and they just, both of them just caught a fish each. 
like within five minutes after they left. So pretty funny, man. It's all about patient, man. A game of patient. I'm just here to have fun though, man. I'm just here to fight the fish, have fun with my new fly rod and just enjoy it. I don't really need a fish. I have plenty of fish at home already. So I'm not here more just doing sport fishing, I guess you can call it. There's another gentleman got one over there, right where we they're at. That's the hot spot, I guess. I think the fishes are coming up right now, so we'll keep the camera rolling. Fish on, guys. We got a fish on. It's a small one. It's a baby one. Oh, fish off. Fish off. It's a little baby one. There's lots of small ones in this river here. There's lots of baby salmons. I say they're about the half half of the size of my first one I've been catching. They're a little bit smaller than that, actually. But that one was a snag on the belly or somewhere. Foul hook, they call it professional term for it foul hook the guy that was standing here he got his limit already he got three so he's already out of here and then about 10 feet away from 10 feet from my right side 10 feet from my left side that's where Dom and Ree was at so I moved I moved from where I was at originally I moved about 20 feet down so this should be a really nice spot right here I think something different I feel like I feel like the, the I feel like it's a bit more deeper right here and it's a bit more calmer so the fish might be like just chilling in here yeah I think we got some action here soon a lot of action a lot of action come on fishy oh somebody got one over here the lady in the pink she's been getting some good ones too she's been catching some but she's been getting a lot of loose hook I really have to go take a number one real quick here but it's really hard to do that I don't want to go all the way up and then lose my spot and come back and then re-square up. So I just got to hold it in. So here's the tip for all you guys before you before you guys start fishing. Make sure you guys use the restroom, man. Take care of your business first. One, she's got she got one. It's freaking nice too. It's flopping everywhere. It's flying, it's jumping, giving her some action. We should catch them soon here, I think. And usually when the person on the left side of you catch it, the fishes are coming up. So the the river's going this way and the fish is coming up this way so usually when you have people come on your left hand and start catching you should start hitting them soon so don't let your guard down guys keep your guards up or her and her husband their family here they've been doing really really good i think they're on their fifth or sixth fish but yeah they've been catching some fish no joke teamwork we need two more fish to make it the day wow those are some big ones too you guys see that these fishers are pretty big well, there's some small ones and there's some big ones. But uh, I've been pretty impressed with the size of these guys. I feel like they're a little bit bigger than Russian rivers. It's been hot for like 5-10 minutes and then it's been slowing down for 15, 15 minutes or so. And then back and forth, back and forth. So that's kind of like the status right now at this section right here. So that spot that she was at, that's where Dom and Ree were standing at. If they would have just had a little bit more patient and hang out for another... 30 40 more minutes they could have been catching some fish already but they also wanted to go check out that new spot so i understand that too so it is what it is you know they already caught plenty of fish yesterday so they're out to seek new adventures i'll wait till these family are done and then i'll go ahead and slowly move myself to that section right there so we'll see how it goes this is still a very good spot right here too all right guys it's getting hot here man i feel it i feel it i feel it some action is going to pop up pretty soon here. This might be this cast here. This guy right here got one. It's another small one. It's a baby one. There's a lot of babies in here, man. That's like the size of a trout right there. Dolly. I just lost one, guys. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see if I can get it again. It was right here. All right. They're, they're coming up. They're coming up. So usually I don't have the camera rolling and then usually when I get one, I'll hurry up and press the camera. So usually you guys don't see the before, the before, the before action. You guys will see the action right away as soon as I press that camera button. But uh, 
Yeah, it's been slow for the last 20 minutes here. A lot of dry casting, nothing really in the water right now. Just lost one. I lost it because I was focusing too much on pressing the damn camera to record. I need to just talk to the camera next time. It's getting hot, getting hot. I just lost one. I lost two. Oh, she got one. She got one. That means they're coming up. They're coming up, guys. They're coming up. Come on, baby. Come on. Every cast, baby. Every cast matters right now. Every cast that goes in right now is a hit or miss. 50-50 chance right now, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I know we're going to hit right now, man. We're going to hit it sometime right now. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Last two I got was like within maybe 10 feet across, 10 feet in front of me. So they're not that super far out right now. Well, 15 feet across from me, in front of me actually. My pool is nine and a half feet, so my line is dropping out like another five feet after that. So about 15 feet. There we go. We got one. There we go. See? Yeah. yeah. Ah, nah. I think it's a belly shot. So, fish on, fish on, fish on. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Fish off, fish off. Fish off. That was a nice fight. You guys see how fun that was? All right. So, you got to check your hook once in a while, guys. Once in a while, you got to check your hook and make sure it's still in good shape. Make sure it's still sharp. And make sure it's not bent because these hooks, they do get bent after a while. So This one is still good. All right, I knew it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Fish off. Just lost a fish. It's a snag though. It's all good. I don't want to get too many snags on the tail and the belly i want to get in the mouth usually when you get on the mouth though they don't they can't fight that strong because you're controlling where they fish where they go you're controlling the direction of their swimming path but when you snag them you get a really really nice fight from them especially if you get on the tail because that's where all the power is and all you do is all you all you feel is just that power smacking your raw boom 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 but yeah i just lost another one here Usually when it's a snag, I try not to bring them in. I try to just uh, fight fight with them for a second and then try to let them unhook themselves. Or nearly by the time I try to unhook them, the, the hook already snaps itself off. So it's a win-win for both parties. I love this drag though, man. This drag is super strong. The family right here caught another one. His father, father. The, the man caught another one. Oh, fish on. There we go. Oh, fish off. Oh, focus, new. You guys saw that? They're in here. They're coming up, man. They're coming up. I got the feeling, man. I got a good feeling. Woo! It's getting busy now, guys. It's getting busy again. It's picking up right now. People are catching it left to right. I think I might have to really switch my hook out. I added another weight on my line here. So, see if it makes a difference or not. If it doesn't make a difference, I'll go ahead and take it back off. Uh, my fish off. <laughs> yeah, that's so foul on the tail somewhere. Uh, just came apart. No, it just came out. Yeah, it just came out. It slid out, thank goodness. You want a I got some I'll give you one. Oh no, I got, I got some. Okay. Yeah, I got I got plenty of those. I'm just messing with the Russian flies for now. I like the Russian flies. I, I think I get a better grip. Are you using them right now? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I noticed too, because I was using the other ones and then uh I, I, need to push the other I caught this one on the on the Russian fly. Yeah. So 
Yeah. Yep, yep. That's my thoughts here too. It's on. Ah, oh, let me see where it's at first. Fish on, fish on. Fish on, fish on down there. Holy shit. Fucking snack. <laughs> this is a fun. Oh, fish on. Oh, that was super fun. This one might be in the mouth. Foul? Where at? Well, yeah, they're, they've been all decent sizes today. <laughs> yeah, they've been all really, really, really nice size today. There you go. Thank you. I don't know why I'm getting in the belly. I'm hoping it was in the mouth, but... No, no mouth this time. Oh, another one. Fish on, fish on. You're good, you're good. Oh, fish off. Sorry about that, man. Yep, you're good. Alright, guys, that fish. This one's in the mouth. Yeah, he's in the mouth. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> I'm just gonna... Just, just hang on to it. Sweet, side. awesome, sweet. See if I can do this. I don't have a clubber. Sweet, second fish for the day. Hopefully, Reed are getting something. I'm trying to bleed it out first, and then I'll unhook it. This one's the hooks. I, I felt the hook on this one. It swifted right into the mouth, and then I uh, I set at the hook. Very nice. So this is what I do for my. This is what I do. I just take my carabiner. Take the carabiner and slide it right in there. I'm using Russian river flies, guys. One more to go. Let's do it. Let's do it so we can take a rake. I want to get this fish so I can go rest and go ride my bike around Sedona. <clears throat> give you guys a tour of the, uh, the place. I've been fishing on this river for about almost four or five plus hours already. Fishy, fishy. Oh, this gentleman got one. Oh, oh got one. Got one. Fish on. Oh, it's in the mouth. Pretty small fella there. Small fella. Uh, so 
me a taco. Unless you're gonna let him go. I think, uh, I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> it's a nice size, huh? I think. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. There we go. Thank you. All right. Wow, this thing went through his mouth. Is that? No secret, really. Yeah, I've been watching everything you're doing. How far after? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no real secret. I mean, uh, depending on what setup you're in, I'm just running a basic setup. You know, nothing too crazy. We got three fish and we're gonna go and get them play at a more open spot here. Here's our three fish right here. Look at that. Look at that size here. Pretty nice. This gentleman has a fish on. Nice. Oh, they got a nice fish. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and gut my fish. I'm not gonna behead, I'm not gonna head them or I'm not gonna flay them. Uh, just for the rector. I don't have any bags on me, so we'll just do this for now. So it's roughly about 7.35. We've been fishing since about 2 p.m. I got done around 6.30 here. And uh, we're out here in Kenai. This is the Kenai Visitor Center. So you can just park here. It's no fee, nothing like that. And literally it's 200 yards to the freaking Kenai River. Just walk down the staircase and boom, you're there. You can start fishing. Successful trip, got my three limits. I'm gonna take a quick break here and then I gotta wait till midnight and I can start fishing again. So we're gonna wait till midnight and then we might go fish around midnight or we might go finish, go fish tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how much rest I need and stuff like that. So quick review, man. If you guys have never fished salmon on a fly rod, you guys definitely need to go try it. Um, if you wanna have fun fishing for salmon, like if you wanna have fun in general, definitely use a fly rod. I have the same setup that I use for Russian River. Um, I was actually using Russian River flies. I just got done switching it out to these guys here. So these are the other one that's popular too. And all it is is just a regular 3 off hook with some yarn on it. So you can use either one. I'm gonna go back and start using these guys. And uh, Re, they're back. They went to a different property and they didn't catch anything I guess. So they're back here fishing. Fish cleaning station. CS10. All right guys, 9.35 p.m. Sadana, beautiful sunset right behind us. Did some quick bike riding around the Centennial Campground. So make sure you guys check out that video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate the video of this vlog and the vlog of the bike ride, just cause they're two separate things. But we're at the separate same place. So Rhea and Don, they're back here fishing. Um, they went to this other property and they didn't catch anything. So they came back here when I was done catching fish. So we're gonna go check it out and see if they caught anything. So pretty today. Mosquitoes not that bad guys. There's mosquitoes around this area, but if you get down there There isn't really too much mosquitoes. Oh, we can't get down there because we don't have waders Totally forgot all about that 
Well, I'm just gonna film some people catching their fish. So hopefully people are catching fish and uh, we can get some action for you guys. All right, this gentleman right here has a fish on. It's almost 10 p.m. Usually when the fish aren't fighting, that means it's in the mouth. Yep, it's in the mouth because I can see it's, I can see it's direction. <coughs> a gentleman here is assisting in the catch of the landing. Come on, land it. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Look at that. Has to be a snag, man. Ah. <laughs> oh shit. Feels like a freaking king. I don't want to. <laughs> Damn, I know I asked for a fight, but shit, I didn't want to. I didn't want to fight this long. <laughs> I think I got it on the belly or somewhere. Shit. <laughs> Fuck, I want to see how strong this fucking rod is. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Dude, it's fucking, it's fucking on there. I'm scared my rod's gonna break. <sighs> but it's a fucking strong one. Oh. It's a mono line though, come on. Oh, fuck. Dude, it's, it's like on the, it's like on the freaking, uh, it has to be like on the freaking, like on the side. Uh -huh. <coughs> yeah, it's, it has to be on the side because it's not, it's like, it's like I'm trying to drag it. Oh fuck you shit. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna go. Fuck it, it's in the <laughs> Dude, go, go over there, man. It's just over the wrapper. Oh, it's off. Whew. That's on the tail, dude. Yeah, it had, had to be on the tail. Hey, I gotta test it out, man. <laughs> That thing fucking felt heavy. Fish on guys, we got a fish on. I think I'm gonna keep it man since it's really low right now. Yeah. Alright guys, we got a fish in the mouth. And let me tire it out. We got a fish, guys, in the mouth after midnight. Beautiful, man. He's going right where I wanted to go. It's just that we can't really see where we're gonna land it. I need a rock, I need a rock. Damn guys, we got one fish. Easy enough. Good morning everyone, it's Sunday, it's the next day, we've been fishing all night. So I met up with Calvin, Calvin is one of uh, Reese's friends and uh, we linked up last night and we uh, we fished for a while, we were, after midnight we were fishing till like 2 a.m. Um, we, we hooked a few fish, let's call it a night, <coughs> and uh, came to his cabin here, crashed for the night, so shout out for him for the hospitality. It's 9 a.m. right now. And uh, also, their cabin is right here on the on the river, so they had their own nice little private spot here. And uh, we're gonna give it a shot. 
I'm gonna go give it a shot. And it looks like it also rained a little bit last night or this morning. So yeah, check it out, guys. This is this is their little spot right here. It's very very beautiful. <coughs> Right on, right on the Kenai River, guys. Check that out. Look at that, you have all this to yourself. They got a really nice setup here. They got a little nice setup and a little nice walkway down here. Oh. Super, super tired. So yeah, let me set up my rod real quick and we're gonna fish. Uh, last night I was here, we were here for a bit and I did hook one right here, but it wasn't really strong. And then it got off within like two seconds, so I'm gonna try again. He said this spot here is nearly the hot spot right here. I got a good night's sleep. Uh, I woke up because Reed called me, so now I can't go back to sleep. Reed didn't catch any last night. She caught one, but uh, her her spirit was really down, so they're gonna try again later on. We're gonna hook up with them later on around afternoon, so we'll go back to town and hook up with them. But since we got some spare time, I wanted to keep trying the spaces. I want to really, I want to try to catch one right here. So we'll see what happens. Last night when we were here, I didn't have all my gear, so I didn't. I only used, a, I only had three split shots on here. So this current here is pretty fast. So I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna go with four split shots today. Loving this fly rod, man. Super beautiful. Oh, so last night when me and Calvin were fishing after midnight, <coughs> when we were fishing. Um, I hooked one, but I think it was a foul, and man, uh, that's that red was so strong. My friction fresh rod was like literally bent like that. But uh, that was a good way to test my rod and see how strong it was, and it was really, really strong. Yeah, I've been having some really fun time fighting with the uh, fighting with this rod here. It's been super fun. We saw the owners of these guys over here last night. They were fishing too, but. They were out pretty late last night, so they probably they're probably sleeping now. Come on, baby, I want to catch one so you guys can see it. You guys have been seeing all the GoPro views, but I want to see, I want you guys to see a third-person view of it. Spoke with Kevin, and he said that uh, he said that at this area here, they're pretty nearby. They're not too far out, so it's really hard to gauge it. And it's pretty, it's pretty uh, deep right here too. It's not shallow or anything like that. No fish so far guys, nothing so far, no hits, no nothing. So I'm using the uh, Gatsumati hook with just yarn. And I've been having really bad luck with those hooks, man. I had more successful with uh, the Russian River flies last night. I caught more fish on the Russian River flies last night. So I'm not sure if it's the hook or just the condition in general, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch my hook here in a bit here. I'll give it like maybe 10 more minutes. So this is the hooks that I'm, these are the hooks that I'm using right now. These got some Matsi. You guys see them? Just regular hooks with some yarn. I think I do have too much yarn so it's catching the weight and it's causing too much drift but we're gonna go ahead and swap this leader out with more of my Russian flies and back on a regular Russian river fly. I had more success with these guys but I've been having more better luck with these guys so we're gonna trust these guys. Ooh, I had one. I had one. There you go, they're in here. Caught me off guard, I didn't set my hook right. I came out really slow. All right guys, fish here for about one hour. Didn't get no hits, didn't get no fish, so. We're gonna go back up, meet up with Calvin, and get ready to go back to the uh, to our spot over here at the visitor center. We're gonna go hook up a really little. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll get more footage once we get back over there, and uh, we'll see how the fishing is over there. It's quite the staircase right here. So it's a big cliff. It's a big drop off from here to their cabin, but they have this little nice stair down stairwell. There we go. Fish on, I can't even. Fish off. 
All right, guys, so Calvin and I, we're back out here at the Kenai River. Uh, we're at the same spot at the visitor center, but we're a little bit further down up the river just because it's so cramped today. A lot of people today, but not a lot of fish. So I hooked two fish, but they were uh, they were in good shot. So <coughs> the fish was able to unhook themselves. It should be picking up soon here lately, soon. We'll see what happens. Calvin just caught his first fish. He's about uh, maybe he's about 20 feet, 30 feet on my left hand side over here, right over here. Very, very hard to land our fish right now. We don't have any nets or any conkler. So we're just putting them up to the shoreline. All right, Calvin, what you got, man? Hell yeah. Here, hold it out for the camera. Hold it out for the camera. We'll just, we'll just share this nice, nice. Yeah, we'll just put on one stringer, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one's nice, nice and green too. Yeah, like average size. <coughs> Slip that over there. Here, take a rock with you. There's a shitload of rock right here, so just grab one. And then, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe grab that one there. Yup. That'll be your uh, clunker. This is a nice spot to put the stringer on, so. Let's put it right there. There you go, that's a nice size right there. That's about what the averaging right now. This one's nice and green. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Fish off. <laughs> oh, they're in there, man. Here. Ah. <laughs> All right, they're right here. They're coming up. They're coming up. All right, guys, we got fish coming up on the Kenai. Calvin just lost one. I just lost one. Both had our guards down. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I fouled mine too. As soon as I turn my GoPro on. <laughs> well, that's usually what I do. I'll once I get it, I'll turn my GoPro on. Just lost one, guys. These fish are playing mind games with me, man. These uh, these red salmon, man, they're good fighters. Don't underestimate them, man. Let them go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow, he's going far. Fish on, guys. Kenai River, baby. Woo -hoo! I don't want this one to go that far like last time. Uh oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Fish on down. Dude, it's definitely a. Oh, it's on the tail. Oh, fish on, fish on. Fish on. Trying to get you guys some action before the actual shot. Let you guys see the whole cast and everything. But uh, it's been very hard to time it. I'm on my last battery too, so this is the last GoPro battery, so I gotta consume my battery and my shots. Come on, baby, let's get one. Let's get one for their camera. Okay guys, so it's roughly about 3 p.m. right now on Sunday. Uh, it got really, really slow right now. There wasn't much action at all and it started to get really, really packed on the river. So I caught three fish last night and then I caught one today. And that was pretty much it. I did, uh, well, one, after, one early this morning and during the midnight run we did. And then we came back here. Um, I caught a, f I, I hooked like over 10 fish. But it was all foul and I didn't land any of them. They're all foul or they're all snapped off. So it's all good. It is what it is. I had a lot of fun though. And then Calvin caught one and then he's still gonna be here. He's gonna hang out here for a while. But I'm gonna head back to town guys. It's getting late now or it's getting almost afternoon now. So I should be back in town around by 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. I'm gonna stop by Sedona so real quick, grab some food and then head on out. Don't worry, I have enough rest. I'm not tired like how I am last time at Chitna. If I do get tired, I promise I will pull over and sleep. So, hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Let me know if you guys got any questions and um, leave in the comment section below. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. Peace out.